How would you like your boss to put a microphone on your desk or in your work area so that he or she could listen to you at any time, even when they were at home, away from the office? Well, that's exactly what's happening at a local Subway sandwich shop that I just went to to get a $5 footlong depression special in Carlsbad, California off El Camino Real on Highway 78 when I was paying for my sandwich and I happened to notice this microphone right on the desk by the cash register. Now I very well versed on the Orwellian aspects of society and I asked the cashiers, the poor minimum wage slaves, you know, what is this microphone for? And of course they informed me that the owner of the restaurant put it there so that he can just listen to them at any time of course on his laptop or his cell phone um, wirelessly anywhere in the world just to make sure that they're treating the customers that the way that he wants them to be treated just to make sure that they're saying hi welcome to subway every time a customer comes in uh, or every time somebody pays to say oh would you like your three cookies for 99 cents would you like your three cookies for 99 cents would you like three cookies for 99 cents and so this is just another symptom of the Orwellian Big Brother society that we're going into that's not even under the direction of the government, just the fact that people are using and abusing technology to invade the privacy uh, of everyone and, and continue to uh, turn them into slaves, basically. I mean, think about this. Think of how wrong this is when these, these poor cashiers are standing there when there's downtime, there's no customers, and they're they're talking to each other, they're confiding in each other about uh, maybe some relationship problems or some, some personal problem that they're having in their life. And at any time, their overbearing, paranoid, controlling boss could be listening to them, whether he's on the, at home uh, or, or on vacation in Hawaii. Just tap into his cell phone and, oh, let me make sure that they're, that they're promoting the cookies for 99 cents. Oh, let me, they're not, I, I need my revenue to go up, so I gotta make sure, I'm gonna put the fear in these minimum wage slaves that I'm listening at all times. And so, you better, slaves, ask everybody if they want the cookies for 99 cents every single time, every single customer, because I'm watching, I'm listening. That's, the, that's essentially the message that this microphone and the purpose of this microphone is sending. So again, this is uh, in Carlsbad, California on El Camino Real, just off the Highway 78 on the, uh, it was the southeast corner right over there. You can just find it. And notice how it was conveniently tucked away underneath the wires of the cash register so that to not alarm really the customers, the, the slave customers that are going in there, like me, to get my five dollar depression special foot long um, of course he, he labeled it oh auto audio monitoring device just to try to minimize any any legal issues that may arise from this but this is horrible and and I'm curious if there's any other people out there any other viewers that um, that have to be subjected to this kind of invasion of privacy this dehumanizing Orwellian slavery mechanism, this panopticon. And, and of course, the, the owner probably very rarely even checks in and listens in on his slaves. But the, the point is that, that the, these slaves don't know that. It's, the point is to put the fear into them that at any moment, at every moment, he may be listening. So you better, better start pushing those, those cookies as an add-on you know, if somebody comes in and just orders a sandwich, you, you better ask them if they want to make a combo, you know, because that's, that's the owner's money that's walking out that door. So, I, I mean, we've all worked at jobs where the, the policies are just ridiculous to mindlessly greet people with the, with the special company greeting and to, to say the, the company slogans and all this garbage. And so this, this owner, this independently owned franchise of Subway, this guy's just taking it to an extreme to just put the fear into his minimum wage slaves. And this is, this is very sad.